Hi everyone, Assalamu alaikum, it's Farzeen and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of the scrap series. It's been a while since I uploaded a scrap series video. And so this video is the part two of my last episode that was in the scrap series in which we made this adorable mini gift bag. This is a six by six mini gift bag and you can just customize the sizes and designs and make everything your own. You can make this for anniversary, Valentine's Day, birthday, literally anything you want. And today we're going to make some goodies that will go right inside this gift bag. And trust me, this is going to make an adorable gift for any occasion. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And don't forget to subscribe. So let's get right into the tutorial. Okay, so we're going to make some booklets that will go inside the bags. Here are the first pieces of scraps that I'm going to use. Um, so for the measurements, here are the measurements. You're going to need a piece that measures six and a half by four and a quarter. You're going to score these three pieces at three and a quarter. So you're going to need three pieces that measure six and a half by four and a quarter and you're going to score them at three and a quarter and just bend them, burnish them really nicely and do, do the same with all three of them. And once you have these all three, you're going to need two other pieces that are going to go on the front and back of the booklet and these are going to measure four by three. So what you're going to do is you're going to put these back to back on uh, each other, just glue them down. You can use your score tape or your, or your glue, uh, just depends on your preference. I'm using glue here and just like that you're going to put them together. I'm going to leave um, the middle piece blank because maybe I'll journal something there and the other two are designer papers. So this is how you're going to do it. And here we already have our first booklet. Just put these uh, other pieces on the front and the back. These measure 4 by 3 inches and burnish. I'm using my glue again. And maybe I'll put a sticker in on the front or maybe I'll just leave it just the way it is. And here we have our first booklet. This turned out super adorable. And now let's move on to the next one. So for the next one, I had this in uh, this cut apart in the collection and I'm going to just put this on a piece of cardstock just like that. You'll have a pretty white border around it and if you have something like this, you can make it or you if you don't, you can just skip it or you can just make uh, something to journal on. So here is the next one. For this one, you're going to need a piece that measures eight and a half by six and a quarter and you're going to score this at four and a quarter just bend it and burnish and i'm going to use another of the cut parts in the collection um, to put right on top of this this measures four by six and it says love you it it has that those bars down there that says to and from you can write the names there uh, and this is the next booklet you can put pictures inside or just journal so this is how this turned out and for the next one you're going to need a piece that measures six and a half by three and a quarter and you're going to score at three and a quarter just bend and you'll have something that looks like this it, it, you can make a card out of this or you can uh, put pictures inside you can journal do anything you want i'm putting this piece uh, this cut apart right on top my goal was to use up all these cut parts that i had left over in the collection these were in my stash for a very long time so i just wanted to use these up you can customize this however you want 
and there there's that so for this next one you're going to need a piece that measures six and a quarter by four and a quarter and this one the other one is six by four and it says be mine just put it on the top and you'll have a pretty white border around it or again again you can put a picture behind it or you can journal just depends on you so for this next one we're going to make a tag booklet so you're going to need three pieces that measure five by three and a quarter and i'm going to put that other tag the cutter part on top of one of these and i'm just going to cut the cut it from the top you'll see how i'm doing this just put it on the paper on the cardstock first and use your scissors or trimmers you can use anything you want to just trim it down you need the white you need a white border around it just like the other three sides and i'm using my scissors to do it you can use anything you want your trimmers your cutters anything so this is how it looks and now just measure the other other uh, pieces that you have and you can just mark the lines on the top and then cut it and i'm just doing it this way so here i have all my pieces cut i'm going to use this ribbon to tie it from the top and i'm going to use a tool to punch a hole on the up on up there on the corner the edge there on the top and then i'm going to just slide uh, this ribbon right from that hole so just tie a knot and you have your tag booklet this is you can again put pictures or journal just do whatever you want so here is the next one i'm going to use these cutter parts this time and you're going to need some pieces that measure so um a piece that measure eight and a half by three and a quarter and you're going to score on the eight and a, on eight and a half side at four and a quarter and you'll have a, a folding card like that and then you're going to need two pieces that measure uh, one piece that measure three and a four and a quarter three and three quarters and you're going to score a half inch on three and three quarter side and another piece that measures uh, four and a quarter by three and a half and you're going to score at three on the three and a half side so here you, you're going to need these three pieces and now i'm going to put these two on the on one side of this card and put this other one on the other side it will make something like a gate fold and you have those two pieces right on the back side of on one side of this folding card and now you can decorate it however you want i'm just going to use these cutter parts i'm going to put this one right here and i'm going to cut this down from the bottom as well again i'll use my um, scissors to do it i need a white i need white border around it just like that you can see how uh, pretty that looks You can also decorate this back side as well but i'm just leaving it like this and this is it the here i have the bag you can put these inside the bag however you want you can uh, arrange them however you like and you can even make more of these booklets or whatever you want to put inside the album inside this gift bag because this gift bag has a lot of space to still add more 
and this is how it looks i absolutely love 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 how this turned out this this is looking so adorable and it will absolutely make an adorable gift for someone and i'm definitely going to make more of these for someone's birthday maybe but this one this one is for sale if you want if you want to buy this you want to place an order do dm me on my instagram all the details will be down in the description box below you can also dm me for customized albums and gift boxes invitation cards and uh, yeah this is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i absolutely love this let me know how you like this video and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys in my next video take care